Hey guys, what is up Dave? Coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and I realize I use that opening every video, I think. So I guess I just have an intro that's going to be the same for every video. I just realized it. Anyway, I found this new game on Steam quite a while back actually and have been messing with it uh, all night out of boredom while my gain is way too high suddenly while I'm recording. There we go. That should be better on sound levels. Um, I found this and I realized that I think the servers for it are dead even though the game only released like last year. They've already taken down the multiplayer servers and you can't do like the in-game loot crates and stuff like that that are set up the same way as CSR 2. Basically this game is a PC clone of CSR 2 and it's a good game overall. I'll straight admit it. It's fun to play and if you're looking to get into modding and you have a and you have Steam, this is a good game to do that with. It's a gr it's a fantastic game to learn off of. Um, I'll show you why here right now. Uh, there is one feature I have not figured out yet that is equal to like a old school CSR2 hack that isn't like a v uh, visual thing, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But as you can see, a lot of the code is obfuscated, and once you're done messing with a couple games, like let's say No Limits Drag Racing, once you're done messing with games like that, that are, uh, there's no obfuscation of code and it's very easy to manipulate the game, once you're done messing with a game like that, this is a good game to step into because it has some of this obfuscated code. And you do have to figure out things like how to skip delivery, even though there's the obfuscated code. Do I have to modify something in here? Or buy a stage? Hmm. Hmm. Cool. So, like, what do I have to realistically do? The only feature I have not yet figured out is how to do fusion parts on this game and have unlimited fusion parts. That's the only feature I haven't figured out yet. So maybe I'll reach out to one of you guys. If you guys mess with the game, let me know. If you figure it out, we can do a joint uh, joint release somewhere. I do have a link up to download the hack already as it sits now, but it is an outdated version already just because I've found other features already. So I'll head in game here and yeah, that's a nice car. I like that car. Um, and I'll show you around the game. It's a pretty good game. The car selection is awesome. Um, I have, so let me go over the list of features with you too, with you, uh, real quick. So there is unlimited tire freshness because there is tire wear of some sort. I haven't noticed any difference. I did not notice that the in-game map is actually where you are in the game. I have not, I, wait, no, it's not. No, that's not where I am. Never mind. Um, anyway, uh, so, unlimited tire freshness, so your tires are always perfect. Um, random characters on the plate, so as you can see, that random string of numbers. If I go to a different car, you know, different numbers. If I go back to this car, it'll probably change. Yeah, so this will change all the time in the background. It's just a random number generator. I. You guys know me better than that. I find that shit funny. Um, you should have seen it back in the Nid or the Racing Rivals days when the, it was Underglow. That's how I did my Underglow uh, randomization hack. Was with six numbers on either side of a random number generator. And whatever number it landed on was the hex color code of that uh, color. So anyway, um, sorry. Sidetracked. Very easy. I just noticed they messed up the textures on this car. Huh. That's pretty funny. That's interesting. Um, anyway, so unlimited tire freshness, random characters on the plate. All uh, cars cost 69 cash or 2 gold. Real money cars can be bought with in-game cash. Uh, and shipment cars are negative 1 cash. There's free stage 6 part upgrades. Um, free delivery for cars um, 999 perfect shifts every race, so that's how you get your millions of dollars. And negative 666 uh, gold for delivering parts. So let's go over some of that. Let's buy a whole new car. Let's do, 
I'm in stage two right now, so there's no point realistically in me going out and buying a stage five for this. Um, this is one of the uh, crate cars, so it's like a shipment car is what they're called. Um, it's negative one because it's not a uh, shipment car anymore. It's a normal car in the game, so you can just buy it for that negative one. That's a shipment car. That's a shipment car. Um, this is a real money car, so I can buy one of these straight up by just clicking that button, but I really wanted this thing, um, which is a shipment car, shipment car, shipment car, shipment car, shipment car. Wow, there's some cool cars in this game. Gold only. So it says the original price, but when you actually click that, it'll give you the uh, two gold price. That's a sick car. Holy shit. Well, by the way, I want to rant for a second. So you guys, a lot of you guys know I used to have a Veloster in the past. I used to have a Generation 1 Veloster, um, non-turbo. It was a very fun car to own, even though, you know, it's exactly 100 horsepower on a dyno for a naturally aspirated version. This is the Veloster in this game. Um, I, I, people are probably expecting me to vent and say this thing is ugly. I don't know how many of you guys have seen the Generation 2 Veloster. It looks like a family hatchback now. Um, here, hold on a second. All right, sorry. People who are new to my channel, I go on rants at random because I have ADHD and freaking autism and all these other mental fucking stupid issues. Um, anyway, I used to have a... A nav model which is basically a non-turbo veloster i do prefer these ones more this is a generation one veloster a 2016 turbo i love this car look at those that body line is amazing i love the roundedness of it this is a 2019 veloster n i hate it i hate it all that roundness and awesomeness is gone in my opinion. I don't have a rear image. Actually, here, we'll just get a rear. Uh, where's the rear? Rear. Okay, and then this is the back. And let me get a rear shot of this guy. Rear. So, here's the back end of one of these guys. You know, pretty awesome. Back end of one of these not pretty awesome so you know if if they had made the veloster gen 2 a slight body upgrade more like this this is awesome i love this it's like a combination of the hyundai kono with the veloster way more of a combination if there was like a 2016 Hyundai Kona because the Kona uh, only came out this year if there was a 2016 Hyundai Kona this would probably be more of what it would look like is something like this this modified Veloster so it would well the Veloster married with the Kona would look more like this I love this car I love how it looks but anyway um, let's let's buy a car uh, nah I don't want that guy 490 though you can't argue with that amount of power let's buy it and then if i click delivery sorry rant over rant over i talk a lot with my hands when i do my jesus christ why am i so hyper um i can skip that and it was free don't i already have one of these do i already have one of these No. Okay, that's a different car. Got it. So let's go do... Let's go do some part upgrades. So we'll start with tires so it doesn't give me the little spiel. As you can see, I am able to upgrade stuff nice and easily, and then I can skip part delivery, and my gold goes up by 666 because I have a sense of humor. And then your stage 6 parts are free to install. So let's go through, we'll finish up everything here. Install. 
do, 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 do. So there's a weird bug with the game, and I know I'm not banned. Um, I know I'm not banned because there's no code in this game that triggers if banned, then don't allow access to server or anything like that. I've looked, I've tried to find it. There's no ban because the first thing I was going to make was anti-ban just in case um, you would get banned for using this. And there's no anti-ban code or no ban code. But the servers are already offline for this game, unfortunately, which means there's no actual way to play the multiplayer that is supposedly built into this game that does not seem to exist. But the other problem with that, and why I'm trying to get the fusion parts to work, is because I cannot figure out how to add fusion parts to the car. And that's usually one of my biggest headaches with CSR2 as well. Um, when doing a CSR2 hack, I do not know. I did it once, and I did it a different way than everyone else at the time. Um, Crazon, Philly the Gamer on YouTube, has since figured out how I did my fusion part um, hack where it was unlimited fusions. But I still, to this day, don't know how I did it, so I probably couldn't recreate it. But if you try to go to shipments, so it says I have 69, this is fake, that's visual. If I try to go in, I can do like the offers, and if an offer pops up, I can buy it with in-game gold. But if I go to daily missions, they don't work because the server's gone. If I go to, uh, well, it's not out here, I guess, either. Um, hold on. If I go shipments, shipments doesn't work either. Um, neither of them work because the servers are gone. And it's been less than a year since this game released, and they've already disabled the servers, which is stupid. But one thing I will say that's very cool with this game is they have this little tuning AI system that tells you when your car is perfect. So, like, as you can see, I'm at, like, I was at plus 10. right there so I'm at plus 10 for my power boost now I can go to tires and that takes me instantly negative that takes me hugely negative so if I want to gain any sort of power or grip that's gonna be my best PSI to have and then gearbox I can we'll take it to the 18 and leave it there and then you just go back and it saves it so that's what's pretty awesome about that as well. Then you can do uh, car painting and stuff like that, and they have so many options. I haven't done a gunmetal yet. Not many paint options for this car. I like that color. We're doing that. They do not do like custom rims in this game, unfortunately. You can only paint your rims. I should make them some ugly fucking... Yeah, I'm going to make them some ugly-ass color just to bother you guys. That doesn't match the car at all. Um... And you can also do uh, plate numbers and stuff like that, but I didn't bother. Uh, and then, so that's basically that. And as you can see, here's actual, like, gameplay of racing. The controls are stupid. Um, it is right shift to shift up. It is right alt to use NOS. And it's up arrow to rev your car the controls for this game are absolutely stupid but you know it is what it is for a quote-unquote free game oh yeah and you have unlimited fuel I forgot that wait I did not do unlimited fuel in the hack because I already had it because I saved it from a previous version of the game oops I need to do unlimited fuel again but you know it is what it is this the game's stupid easy to honestly mess with it just sucks that the servers are gone already because it is a good drag racing game and there was a multiplayer option but they already took the servers down i remember when the game first came out i actually did message the actual facebook uh developer for it or about the game and told them about you know like how the drag racing community is looking for a really good game and this had potential for it and 
I got ignored like usual. There's really no point in trying to talk to developers anymore when it comes to um, games and stuff like that because they're all big-headed because they think people in you know the communities are not skillful enough to talk to them or else they would probably release their own game by themselves which I'm not gonna say anything I'm not gonna say anything but I am working with somebody to attempt at uh, possibly uh, making in a multiplayer drag racing game for us that will have servers that work kind of like 1320 challenge um, where it sends to the server and you have 24 hours to accept the race and race against it but there's no promises on that we're still working out the cost for development um let's see what the fastest car in this game is we're still working out cost for the development so there's no promises yet on if the game's even ever going to exist but i am in talks with somebody about it so this is probably faster than this seeing how 1227 1232 and this is lighter that's really light that's really heavy that's kind of sad for how much power it doesn't have that's really wow a lot of these cars up here not much power honestly in them i was expecting more this could be properly quick because 2,000 pounds at 1,100 HP, that's a better uh, power to weight ratio than these guys up here. Hmm. So really, this might be the fast car. Maybe I'll do some videos on tuning all of these cars in the future just to see what the fastest car is. They barely changed the Lotus to add it to this game. They changed the taillights. Okay. There's a nice one. Ah, Zondas. What'd they do to it? Ah, that, that's not terrible. So, let's, uh... Buy this guy. Deliver it. Pizza, pasta, put it in the box. Sorry, I'm... I got memes stuck in the head. Um, but yeah, let's build this guy up real quick. Wow, there's... This would be expensive. You'd better be damn rich in the game in the future. Holy shit. I still hate that I can't get the fusions to work. Let's see what the power output comes out to be on this car. Why is it saying my power is so low? Didn't it say it was like... Oh, okay, I was looking at power and this being weight. Oops, David can't read. Well, I can't read. Install. All right, we'll get this done here real quick. How are you guys doing? How's your quarantine? Are you losing your mind yet? I am. I promise. I am absolutely just losing brain cells every day. I'm so bored. Granted, I did figure out that, you know, TMI or not, I am making more money being on unemployment because of this bullshit than I would be if I went back to my previous job. I'm making more money by $7 more an hour to my previous job. So, like, where's the incentive? Let me be honest with you. Where's the incentive? It's It would be stupid for me to suddenly end my unemployment. But it is what it is. I'm not going to take advantage of the government like that. That's kind of stupid. 11. I just saw 30. Can I type in here? That's dumb. You can't type in that. Okay. We're going right there because that's 30. There we go. Perfect. Let's see what this thing runs because 
Can I even race it? Oh, I can. Sweet. See what the f one of the fastest cars in this game does. Wow, I'm terrible. I haven't figured out how to do custom gear ratios yet either, but I don't think there's a reason to. 7.3 is not bad. Let's do another one and see if I can get a little bit better shifts. We'll do expert. If I can get better shifts, that'll be great. Wow, that's fast. <laughs> Yeah, I won. Guy hasn't even passed the line yet. What did I run? Seven two eight. Cool. So obviously we'd be getting well into the sixes if I could figure out the uh, fusion parts. But at the moment, oh well, I can't do it. I'll figure it out in the future. But if anybody's interested in modding or hacking this game, I am interested in doing some of the old school CSR two stuff that's visual like slamming the cars down and cambering out the wheels and doing a whole bunch of visual stuff, maybe even custom cameras and all that. Um, I personally don't know how uh, Crazon did all that stuff, so I don't know if I'll ever be able to do it, but I'm sure that, you know, if I show him this, maybe he'll have some interest, maybe not. Car simulator. Huh. <laughs> I wanted to look for the word camera. Camera move points, camera mover, camera wrapper. Let's see, can I do anything in here? Is there anything that looks like the racing camera? Nope. I just wanted to look real. Oh, that's caliper. Fuck calipers. Um, drag check, let's see, touch phase. Ah, okay, that's for like zooming in and out it looks like. Um, set zoom. How far can you zoom in and out is basically what that seems to mean. And this is all zoom stuff. I don't see... I, I really have no idea how he how anybody did uh, the camera hacks and all that stuff. But maybe in player... No, that's not it. Race? There's got to be like a race camera or something like that. Um, race info. Check speed stats. That's cool. Player one elite time trial. All right, whatever. That's something I'll look into. Let's just search the word camera. This is basically what it takes to do this kind of stuff. Camera move to points. So you can move the camera around. That's pretty cool. You can set pivots and stuff like that. That's really neat. Camera mover, some other camera stuff. I wanted to find a camera thing for racing, but it's literally all camera mover. Show gameplay UE after camera back. Okay. An animation customization controller. Um, yeah, I don't see yet. I don't see yet. Gameplay ga uh, play controller. Is there a camera thing in here? Um, camera. Here, I'll show you how I did perfect shifts. That's all it took. Uh, if you made it this far in the video and you're still watching for some odd reason, while I do my just idiot stuff like this, uh, I haven't even been in this stuff yet. If you made it this far, um, let's bring back an old thing that I used to do on my channel. Hmm. What should I have for dinner on Saturday? No shellfish, no fish. I'm allergic to both, so we're not trying to kill me. I love spicy, don't like barbecue. I eat ramen a lot. 
I wonder, can I do, is this an actual, <gasps> you know what I can do. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Compile. <gasps> you have no idea what's about to happen. And I apologize. Oh. Anyway. You have no idea. Oh, wait. Is that... This was only during race, right? Race vehicle. Okay. I'm going to do my dil dil due diligence. Copy. Paste. Paste. <laughs> No color mods. Anyway, save. Oh, you guys have no idea what's about to happen. I don't know why anybody is still watching at this point, but I thank you if you are, because this is about to get interesting. Um, so, if I go on the racetrack... Well, let's see if they change here in the garage. So, like, I'll go to a different car. Those are still the green they were. This was, like, a gunmetal black. Still a gunmetal black. Let's see if they change on the racetrack. They should. Oh, they changed. <laughs> so, every race, the wheels are going to be a different color. I love it. I wish there was, like, a way to do it as an up. <laughs> We're gonna just do edit. No, 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 no. We need to edit the entire class, and we're just gonna do public void update this dot. No, we'll do set rim color. Unity engine dot random dot range. It's okay, actually, this doesn't matter. There we go. So, if this works, I'll explain it. My one cat is so freaking loud, it's ridiculous. But yeah, if you've made it this far in the video, tell me what to have for breakfast or dinner on Saturday. I am entirely down for you guys to have control over what I have for dinner on Saturday. So I'm wondering if this is going to work. It doesn't look like it, but I'll explain it in a second here. So what was supposed to happen with that? And I'll do two races to see if setting it the way I did is why it didn't work. No, they definitely did change. Okay. Um... I must have unlimited fuel coded onto this because so unfortunately that didn't work I'm kind of saddened by it. well actually it might have and I'm just getting shitty similar colors oh my son's awake I should probably end this I might have woken him up by talking oops um, no, it's definitely working. No, wait. That is not my son. That is my cat. I wonder if I can stretch this far enough for you guys to hear her snoring, because it's hilarious. Is this you snoring? Are you snoring? You are snoring. All right, I yelled at her. Just kidding, I didn't yell at my cat. She's adorable. She's such a fraidy cat. Anyway, oh, all right, we're gonna try this fucker once more. I don't know why I'm still recording. There's no point in this 
part. This is just for like no reason at all. But what I'm thinking is it's not working for a very specific reason. So let me Alt F4 out of here. And I'll explain the code that I added in. So in Unity 3D, there is something called an update that you can put in just about any, um, any whatchamacallit, You can put the uh, you can put it in any function and it should run every single frame. But actually, I should actually put that in the tick. So actually, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do in the tick. We're gonna do this dot set rim color. Unity engine dot random dot range because it looks like this function is called every frame. This tick function. So also if I wanted to do anything like a auto racer, um, that would get called every frame from right there. So what we're gonna actually go do now is edit this method and put this back because we're calling it using this method. Actually, I don't know why this is here. Anyway, compile. There we go. So now we're going to save this once more. I really want this to work. And I know there's no point in me still recording at this point, but that is too damn bad for you guys. Anybody who's made it this far, you know me. You knew what you were getting yourself into that's clicking on this video. It basically might as well have been a live stream. Ah, oh, looks like they're still not changing. That sucks, but that's okay. I'm not sure why they're not changing now. They were at first. Watch, they'll be like white right here. Yeah, now they're white right here. So it isn't working still. Hmm, anyway, um, I'll add the code back and figure it out later. Or find a way to do it here in the garage, which shouldn't be hard. Wait. Did they change? Let me go something vibrant. So I want something crazy. Now they're red. Let's see if they stay red. And if they don't stay red, then it is working. So it is working. It's just very shitty. And it's not changing at every frame like I want it to, but that's okay. So, you know, but that's what that code was supposed to do. But I'm going to still keep messing with this because it is a ton of fun. So that's my actual rim color. So it's not changing every frame like it's supposed to, but it is changing on the strip. Um, anyway, I'm going to end this video off before I make it like an hour long just of me messing around with the game. Um... It's a fun game to mess with if you want to get into modding. Remember, tell me in those comments down below what to have for dinner on Saturday to see if you've made it this far in the video. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.